Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make this heart and how you can use it to make this Valentine's card. First open a new document, let's get rid of the stroke and change the fill to red. Next go to view and make sure the smart guides are selected. Now select the pen tool and let's draw a heart. Hover over the smart guide, then click on it, hold and pressing down the shift key move your mouse up to draw a straight line, then release the mouse. Now move over to this guideline, click on it, hold and pressing down the shift key move your mouse down. Try to get these two tab bezel handles at about the same level, then release the mouse. Now move down to this guideline and click somewhere here. And finally click on the beginning anchor point to close the path. Next we'll make a second part of our heart. To do that press the letter V on your keyboard for the selection tool and drag a box to select everything. Now go to the reflect tool or press the letter O on your keyboard and holding down the ALT key Click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Choose the vertical axis and click copy. Next we will unite these two parts. Select everything, go to Pathfinder. If you don't have it open go to Window and select Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next we will add a glassy effect to our heart. To do that First let's copy this heart. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. When you go to your layers panel you can see we've got an extra heart. Let's select the bottom heart and make it bigger. Now let's change the fill of the bottom heart to dark red. Before we move on to the next step, let's make one more copy of the smaller heart. We will need it later. Click on this layer to select it, hold and drag it to this icon to make a copy. And here is our copied layer. Let's lock it for now. Next we will blend the colors of these two hearts together. To do that select both hearts. Now go to Object, Blend and select Make. Next we will add a glassy part to the top. To do that we will need the extra heart we've created before. Let's unlock this layer and select it. Now open the gradient panel and choose black and white gradient. Next we will reshape this heart a bit. First let's lock the bottom layer. Now press the letter A to switch to the direct selection tool. Click on this anchor point and move it up to about right here. Next click on this black gradient slider. Then open the color panel and click on this little arrow. Select CMYK and move all the sliders to the right. Next we will change the gradient's direction. To do that click on the angle window and set it to negative 90. And finally open the transparency window. If you don't see it go to window and select transparency and change the blending mode to screen. And here is your basic heart. If you would like to make any changes to your heart you can still do it. You can change the color to darker red. You can increase or decrease the size of the heart to change the depth of a blend. You can change the shape of a top highlight and the gradient. And of course you can save this heart to your symbols library 
to create something like this, for example. To do that, unlock this layer, select everything, make a copy, resize it, now make a new layer, open the symbols window and drag this little heart here. Now lock the bottom layer, select the top layer and using the symbol sprayer tool add lots of little hearts. Now you can add text to it, change its size, color, font style, curve and effect. And finally, add a background to it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.